Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video we are going to talk about uh, Dave staging and live um, environments uh, within uh, Matomo Tag Manager. So the typical use case is the following one. When uh, you want uh, to install a container for the first time, Matomo Tag Manager is giving you the possibility uh, to deploy it uh, within the live environment or dev environment or either a staging environment. And here, in fact, the information that you need is to understand what is a staging environment, what is a dev environment, and what is a live environment. So uh, the dev environment is really the one on which the developer is going to make the test uh, for the website. Okay, here I'm not talking about, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Matomo in particular, but let's say websites in general. Of course, here in this, uh, example it's related to Matomo Tag Manager but just to let you know that in general when we talk about dev environment means the website or the project on which uh, they are doing their tests and most of the time it means that it's the local machine on which uh, they are creating building uh, the app that they will at the end ship to the end customer. The staging environment is a bit uh, is advanced compared to the dev within the uh, production process, and uh, the staging environment refer to the same kind of project, so the project on which the developer will make some test on, but um, that this uh, project is ready to ship, and uh, in fact it's happening on the same uh, environment as the final project final website so here what's happening is when it's on staging environment it's on the same server or um, the same configuration server as the one which will finally be used in order to publish the app at the end of the day so to say uh, here in the dev environment developers are working on their own machine here uh, somehow they shipped it on the end uh, customer but it's not yet public and the live environment means that actually the uh, product is is shipped so so to say you will use a dev container when uh, you will use it on your local machine then you will use the staging one when it's uh, kind of ready to ship but it's not yet uh, shipped and it's on the server of the end customer and live means that this is live um, so in fact as you can see, um, every time that you change of a, of a container, you get in fact just the end of the uh, URL over here, which is uh, changed according to the container that you are choosing. And I was wondering why um, the end of the URL was, was different and why the Matomo team did not develop just one single container, including the three environments. And the answer uh, that I got from Lucas that once more I really would like to thank uh, for all his passions and all his help is giving me in order to provide uh, how Matomo is working, is that if they would have put the three environment within the same container, then the script would have taken a while in order to load and that it would have as well uh, disclosed the uh, different configuration of all those three environments, which is not uh, cool at all. And um, let's go for a demo now. So um, in fact, what I did is that I set this given website and on this given website, as you can see, I put the dev environment. And what I would like to show you is that uh, what's gonna happen if I create a tag and that uh, this tag is published, for example, on the live environment, and we will see that actually it's not gonna appear on our project. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to create, um, let's say, a basic, uh, basic tag, and we're going to fire it um, on uh, on my website. So let's um, let's have it launched. Okay. So I'm going to create a new tag. It's just going to be a basic HTML tag, so custom HTML tag. It's just going to say, hey, this is the live environment. Uh, so I'm just going to do like this alert and I'm just going to say um, sorry dev environment environment like this and uh, and like this okay I'm just uh, going to deploy it for every every page which is uh, which is loaded so I'm just going to do it uh, like this and 
and then uh, when the page view is triggered so this one and then i'm just gonna publish it i'm gonna publish it within the live environment to show you that it's not gonna work so let's say like live yep sorry for that just gonna do for live and i'm gonna publish it on the live environment okay so now it's live okay so what i just would like to prove here is that as you can see if i publish it in the live environment and that the container that i added here is in the dev environment it doesn't work so if i publish it now and that i publish it on the dev environment dev i'm gonna get it and that's that's the whole point in fact of playing with so i'm gonna just clear the cache sorry just gonna clear the cache okay now the cache is is cleared and then it's showing up dev environment so that's what i wanted to show you for uh for today is that really like those three different environment are used on different uh, project um, steps and um, the big advantage in fact of using them instead of creating um, three different containers because in fact what you could technically do is that you could just click over here in manage container and create like three different container one for the live environment one for the uh, staging and one for the dev but the whole point is actually uh, by using the environment that Matmo Tagmaja is giving to you, you got all of them uh, within the same place. And of course, you don't need to uh, redo uh, the wheel each time. And that's it uh, for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.